This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for November 4, 2023, Saturday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time, Memorial of St. Charles Borromeo, Bishop. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 11, verses 192a, 11 and 12, and 25 to 29. Brothers and sisters, I therefore ask, has God driven away his people? Let it not be so, for I too am an Israelite of the offspring of Abraham, from the tribe of Benjamin. God has not driven away his people, whom he foreknew. And do you not know what scripture says in Elijah, how he calls upon God against Israel? Therefore, I say, have they stumbled in such a way that they should fall? Let it not be so. Instead, by their offense, salvation is with the Gentiles, so that they may be a rival to them. Now, if their offense is the riches of the world, and if their diminution is the riches of the Gentiles, how much more is their fullness? For I do not want you to be ignorant, brothers, of this mystery, that a certain blindness has occurred in Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has arrived. And in this way, all of Israel may be saved, just as it was written, From Zion shall arrive he who delivers, and he shall turn impiety away from Jacob. And this will be my covenant for them when I will take away their sins. Certainly, according to the gospel, they are enemies for your sake. But according to the election, they are most beloved for the sake of the fathers. For the gifts and the call of God are without regret. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response, the Lord will not abandon his people. Blessed the man whom you instruct, O Lord, whom by your law you teach, giving him rest from evil days. Your response, the Lord will not abandon his people. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor abandon his inheritance. But judgment shall again be with justice and all the upright of heart shall follow it. Your response, the Lord will not abandon his people. Were not the Lord my help, my soul would soon dwell in the silent grave. When I say my foot is slipping, your mercy, O Lord, sustains me. Your response, the Lord will not abandon his people. The Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 14, verses 1 and 7 to 11. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. And the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline at a table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him. And the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man. And then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place. So that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. 
for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled but the one who humbles himself will be exalted the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus today's gospel reading luke 14 1 and 7 to 11 serves as a helpful reminder for each one of us to keep our feet firmly set on the ground even though we have all accomplished a great deal we should all learn to be humble according to the gospel reading from luke 14 17-11 if we are boastful we are nothing we will never achieve honor if we are pompous on the other hand the master will honor us if we humble ourselves my dear friends this is how life is on this earth even though we may not be able to recognize it humans occasionally tend to be conceited we forget to be humble when we achieve little things and instead grow conceited luke 14:17 to 11 the gospel reading contains a very important lesson no matter what we have to keep our feet set on the ground the quality that will uplift us even in trying situations is humility indeed there will be enduring peace on earth if we can all learn to humble ourselves being humble does not mean being inferior rather it is a means of bringing people together that is why we have to follow the instructions given to us in the gospel reading from luke 14 1:7-11 since god will raise the humble we must always maintain our humility my dear family of mother mary is a protection given that god extends his hand to everyone those who wish to honor him should also reach out if we behave with humility and value people above ourselves instead of acting with insolence or self-centered ambition we will experience the blessing of the gospel which is that we will be exalted prayer lord jesus You want me to be concerned about assisting others but I am always attempting to further myself and achieve my goals please assist me in emphasizing love more than the things that the world values most which are self-serving and meaningless actions indeed amen My dear friends please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching god bless you let us now pray for all the faithful departed let's remember all our beloved ones our relatives our friends our benefactors our neighbors and all the souls who have no one to pray for eternal rest grant unto them o lord and let perpetual light shine upon them may their souls rest in peace amen